In this lesson, we practice evaluating expressions given specific values for the variables in them. Here we have 7 over y minus 11y plus 2, and we need to evaluate it assuming that y equals negative 2. So the first thing we need to do is replace y with negative 2 everywhere we see it in the expression. So we're going to take this negative 2 and we're going to substitute it in right here and right here. When we rewrite the expression, it looks like this. 7 divided by negative 2 minus 11 times negative 2 plus 2. Now it becomes an order of operations question. 7 divided by negative 2 is division, so it goes early. 7 over negative 2 is negative 3 and a half. Subtraction is up next. It's going to have to wait because we have 11 times negative 2. 11 times negative 2 is negative 22. And plus 2 is going to have to wait out on the end also. Okay, next step we have negative 3 and a half minus negative 22 plus 2. When we subtract a negative, that means we're adding. So that can be negative 3 and a half plus 22 plus 2. And now that we have subtraction and addition, we can just go left to right. 22 plus 2 is 24, and 24 minus 3 and a half would be 20 and 1 half. In this lesson, we practice using algebra to evaluate equations given specific values for the variables. The equation we're looking at is the one defined the area of a trapezoid. Area equals h over 2 times the quantity a plus b. The trapezoid we're given has a value of 10 for a, 15 for b, and 8 for h. Hmm, that 8 is hard to read. How about that? That way. If we substitute these values in for the variables, we get a equals 8 over 2 times the quantity 10 plus 15. Now we have to worry about our order of operations. We'll do the parentheses first. 10 plus 15 is 25. 25, and those two are done. Now we have a equals 8 over 2 times 25. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 25 is 100. So the area of this particular trapezoid is 100 square units. 